Hey friends, welcome. Today I am doing a scrapbook layout for Scrapbook Nerd. And this picture is actually a picture of myself um, on my birthday last year uh, with a giant cake that my husband surprised me with that is a cat and it's really cute. Um, so that's the photo I am scrapbooking. I am mainly using the, actually I'm exclusively using the crepe paper um, Magical Forest Collection. So I am starting by using a bunch of my scraps um, to put layers behind the photo. I try to gravitate towards my scraps first before grabbing any new papers, unless there's a paper um, that's jumping out at me for layers, but otherwise I try to use scraps. And I'm using this little tool to distress the edges and that I got at like Michael's or something. I don't know, I think it was like a tool for the Cricut, but I really wanted that. Like there were a bunch of different tools in the package. Anyway, you can just simply do this with your scissors and it works perfectly. So I'm doing lots of little layers and making sure that they're all, they all, um, if this makes sense, like um, all of the edges are different. So they all don't end or start at the same place. I hope that makes sense. It's a little tip for layering, um, but distressing is my favorite thing to do with layers because then it looks less flat and you're really able to see the actual layers between everything, between the different papers. I'm taking this doily from my stash, putting that behind the photo, and then it's funny because I just so happened to, excuse me, sorry, I just had to clear my throat. Um, I just so happened to put that um, paper with the words on it down on the paper, down on my background paper, and then I was like, oh, that kind of looks good there. So I decided to leave that, and the title will be Birthday Girl. And that girl is from that sticker sheet that's like enamel stickers kind of. And um, I think it says brave girl or something like that. But I just use the girl part and I can use the brave for something else. Um, I'm going to use this fun little unicorn because, well not little, fun giant unicorn. Because I don't know when else I would use it. And I was going to put that rainbow there, but then it looked like it was pooping rainbows or something. So I moved it because I thought that would, that's all I'd be able to think about when I look at the layout. Um, so we don't want unicorns to poop rainbows. So I moved it. Um, and yeah, so like I said, I wouldn't use the unicorn on anything else really and I thought just because it was a special birthday thing and I have this giant cat cake even though it's not a unicorn cake I just thought it it would go with it just fine and it's my birthday layout so I can do whatever I want I guess so that's what I decided to do stuck it right on there and it's kind of like the um, centerpiece of the layout besides the the actual photo itself it's kind of the centerpiece of it so I think it looks pretty fun. And now I am figuring out what other bits and pieces I want to put around this layout. And I love these cute little um, floral um, clear stickers that you can just kind of pop around the page. And I really think that puts, I don't know, completes it a little bit, not completes it, but I don't know, puts it together. It's like when you have different sprinkly bits like enamel dots and mist spray and stuff like that. It's kind of something that I think of that's kind of like that um, to just sprinkle around the page. So yeah, what else? Just adding more of these flowers. Um, obviously I got all of these products um, from the shop. So I'll put all the links down below for Scrapbook Nerd. Um, and you can shop some of these items. I know some of them are sold out. Um, I did just buy my second chipboard sheet because I'm running low. And I also bought, maybe I'll do a little haul. I don't know if it's enough product to do a, a full haul video. But um, I also bought the like, um, they're like the clips that go in this collection. And they're really, really cute. So I don't know what exactly I'd use them for, but I bought them and they go with this collection. So maybe I could make something cute with it. 
Um, I also wanted to say, I kind of skipped through part of it, but I, with my black pen, oh, sorry about my head. <laughs> um, with my black pen, I outlined that um, paper with all the words and then also the white paper. Um, if I had a sewing machine, I say this all the time, if I had a sewing machine, I would sew it, but I don't. So this is, uh, this will do. Uh, oh yeah, I'm also grabbing my Tim Holtz stickers just for my stash because I knew there were some birthday specific stickers. So I took those out. I think that one says make a wish and then that one says let's eat cake. Um, so they're obviously very birthday themed and I went with the white just because there wasn't a lot of black going on in, um, in this layout. Um, as you can see, this is kind of like a diagonal spread. Um, I didn't have like a, a sketch or anything like that. It's just what I chose and how it went. Um, yeah, so there's so many different kinds of ways you can do layouts. You can do where you have three different points, three different points of interest, like three different clusters, or you can do diagonal or triangle or however you want it. And this just so happened to be diagonal, I guess. I'm gonna use some spray mist from my stash for more little sprinkly bits. Um, and at this point I thought I was done, but um, I kept looking at it and I'm like, it really doesn't feel done. It still needs something more. So I'm gonna add little bits and pieces here and there again. Um, I used a stamp that was just from my stash, like a roller date, and not, a, it wasn't a, a date, it was a roller phrase stamp, I guess. Um, and just gonna add more to this to have more going on, basically, that's all. Oh yeah, I'm going to add a bunch of sequins to this. I'm gonna use my hot glue gun to glue it down. I don't have any other wet glue left, so hot glue it was. Um, and I will skip through a little bit of it just because it's pretty tedious um, gluing these down. And I'm not sure if I, yeah, I have already used some enamel dots and I should mention those are not from the Magical Force collection and I can't recall what collection they're from but you will find them in the shop if you um you'll find them on the scrapbook nerd website if you um look under like I don't know enamel dots or something um or embellishments or something you should be able to find them and I thought they match this collection so well they have that kind of bronze color and a yellow color and more of like a, um, a pale pink color or like a peach color. So when I made my initial Magical Forest order, I included um, those enamel dots as well just because they match perfectly. And I could never have too many enamel dots. I use them on almost every project and I'm sad when I don't have enough for a project. Anyway, this is the finished product. I'm happy with how it turned out. I think the sequins make it look really fun and sparkly and more birthday-y. But um, yeah, like I said, links will be down, to, down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.